Hi there, I'm Noah Bradley with HandmadeHouses.com and today we're going to tackle the topic of how do you build a log cabin on a budget. Stay tuned. Okay, today I'd like to talk to you about how is it that a person can build a home as cheap as possible to build a dream log cabin and do, on a, a very limited budget, what advice I might have for those folks and, and uh, that, are, that are either through choice or through need, need to keep the cost of that cabin down, but still they wanna build a quality cabin and what advice I might be able to offer. And so today that's, that's what I'm gonna address. Step one, the first thing I can offer is maybe consider not building a log cabin. And I'm the log cabin guy. I build a lot of log cabins, including this one that I'm standing in front of. But, uh, but I know from experience that they take time and they cost more money than what you imagine they're gonna do. And of course, YouTube is full of folks that have built them for $500, but they're, they're pretty primitive things. And when we build our log cabin, we want it to be precious. If, if you're not aware, I've started the Handmade House TV series where every Wednesday I'm releasing a new video and what I'm doing is I'm going slowly through the process of discovering, designing, and building my next home. Part of that home is going to be a log cabin. I couldn't live in a home that was not part log or all log. I'm a log cabin fanatic, but I am planning on starting that home not with a log cabin. I'm planning on starting it with a smaller, uh, rustic, uh, but nonetheless traditionally uh, built home that looks attractive and is appealing. And that's because I know I can get it up quicker and I know that it's much more cost effective and I'm gonna hold off on building it into the future. So one of the, the techniques, one of the people, one of the things I see often in people that wanna start out small, they need to start out cheap or they want to start out cheap, and how, and how they can achieve their houses that a lot of times people will start thinking about maybe the idea of I'll build a garage and live above it, or I'll start with a guest cottage, not in the ideal location on my land, and then I'll save up money and then I'll build a nice home further up on the hill where all the views are. Or, or some people will consider I'll, I'll build the basement and then I'll live in the basement for a while until I can afford to work up on top of it. I have seen I have seen this route fail ten times for every time I've seen it succeed. That people that end up uh, living above their garage end up living above their garage for the next ten or fifteen years of their life. That people that build the co guest cottage they end up putting so much money into the guest cottage that the funds are really never available to start fresh with an all new structure up on the hill. And people that live in a basement, uh, can you imagine <laughs> being trapped to living in a basement where your house is only sticking out of the ground by a foot? So do not go with those options. But if you still want to go forward on a log cabin, if you don't, if you want to bypass the idea of starting with another structure and you've, you've got the sense not to take those alternative routes, what, what are some helpful advice that I can give you? First of all, uh, minimize the size of your house. If you're thinking you want a 2,000 square foot house, think about how perhaps you could cut that in half. Uh, make that log cabin smaller. If it's half as big, it, it's, it's probably 60% of the cost of the, of the size you envision. So just by shrinking the size to a smaller thing, it's more affordable. Also, consider every aspect of homeowner involvement that you can put into the project. Not only will you end up with a better home, but that you will you will cut cost dramatically over the cost the cost of a home. Uh, you'll find you'll find better deals. You'll you'll spend a whole lot more in unnecessary expenses, uh, paying for insurance and and uh, government rules and regulations and banking expenses and whatever else. And and uh, the the savings is immense. So we go into that in the Handmade House Academy. And if you're serious about building uh, your own home, if you're serious about getting involved in it and how to really save money, you really need to consider signing up with the Handmade House Academy where I share 
uh, 30 years of my experience with you. So I, I hope that you got some kind of benefit out of, out of today's uh, message, and uh, we thank you for joining us today. Come see us over at HandmadeHouse.com, where uh, you'll find uh, over a 1,000 photographs with a lot more free information. Uh, please subscribe to us here on YouTube, and by all means, see us on Facebook at Noah's Handmade Houses. Until then, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.